My mom has been alive all these years, living in the city where I grew up. I can't imagine what that felt like. It just felt like home. Do you want to go back? 321 is called Not Kansas. In previous episodes, we've really been watching Kara struggle with what is her sense of home. It's so good to have you back, Kara Zarel. It's good to be back. Welcome home. Going back to Argo and being able to just be a normal young woman, Kara Zorel, was such a relief. And seeing her mother again, who she thought she'd never see ever, makes her yearn to give up Earth for a while and just go and be Kara and return to Argo. And so she decides that's what she's going to do. Alien guns again? I would say DEO weaponry. Oh, no, that's impossible. While Supergirl is away, you know, it's up to the friends at the DEO and Guardian to protect National City. And so Guardian's on the case when it turns out somebody uh, is using what we think are DEO assault rifles. Someone used a weapon we designed and used it against a police officer. It becomes a story that's very close to Jean's heart when he realizes that stuff that he created and that he um, sanctioned is being used by these criminals. We use proprietary technology, guns solely designed for our use. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3 and today we're going to be talking about Episode 21. So this episode is airing tonight, so if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So tonight's episode looks absolutely brilliant. I am so happy we're going back to Argo City, I absolutely loved that part of last episode. It was some of the best scenery I've seen on Supergirl and it was just brilliant seeing Carl reuniting with Allura and we got a few new mysteries that we need to actually wrap up and so I'm really really ready for this episode so we're going to be breaking down this inside look that you looked at at the start of the video so here we go so the first scene is an amazing scene so it's an emotional Danvers sisters couch scene we haven't had one of these in ages I love these scenes we need more we had tons of that in season one we had barely any in season two we've had a bit every now and again in season three but really not that much so I love seeing in these scenes and I just want more of them so in this scene we get Kara and Alex discussing the idea that Kara actually wants to go home she wants to go to Argo City and live there and although the executive producer Jessica Queller in the inside look actually suggests that it's more of a part-time thing obviously we know as the fans that there is no Supergirl without Supergirl on Earth and we can't just abandon all the Earth characters so we know she's definitely coming back but by the way that the trailer is cut and by the way that the synopsis actually tells it to us it seems like it's more of a permanent thing and there's going to be something that's going to rock the tables that makes Kara come back to Earth so my theory is that Argo City will be destroyed in some way and that they will get a lot of these people to Earth I feel like that is the way that they're actually going to Go along with it but that's just my idea so we get some brilliant shots of Kara and Monel and it's an extended bit from what we saw in the trailer and I'm really excited for this reunion once again Kara goes to reunite with Allura once more and we get to see Rain's maker Selena or Serena they've said that it's probably going to be Selena but in the press releases they said Serena so it's a bit confusing but we'll call her Selena in this video. She's going to be a massive part of the next few episodes. We've talked about that in those other videos recently as to episode 22 and 23 the finale. We've talked about that go check out those videos. They will be on my channel. They are pretty recent you'll be able to spot them out. And so I feel like in this episode her plans and what she's actually doing in regards to the world killers is going to become apparent and I think we're going to get hints throughout the episode and I think by the end of the episode Kara and Monel will actually find out about her links to the world killers that she was one of the people who actually brought life to the world killers so there's going to be some really great Kara and Monel scenes and like I said previously there is going to be the dream scene in this episode we don't know if it's in real life or it's another dream scene but Kara and Monel are going to be wearing that white clothing that they wore at the start of the season in episode one so get ready for that that's going to be awesome I can't wait to see those scenes because we've seen behind the scenes looks at that so the next part 
part of the episode and this is the different side of the episode it's with John Wynn and James so they are the earth side of the story this episode and they're going to be figuring out how the hell these DEO caliber weapons actually leaked onto the street so a person has one of these DEO weapons and they shoot at James and James stops the bullets so they're going to be figuring that out that stuff is kind of interesting but it's nowhere near as interesting as the Argo City stuff so I'm excited for it but I'm more so excited for the Argo City stuff because there's a lot going on there there's going to be a lot of world killer stuff over there as well as the Kara and Monel stuff and the Allura stuff so I'm really really excited so let me know are you guys as excited for tonight's episode as me I'm sorry if I'm like not as energetic I just have really terrible hay fever right now and I have over the last few days so if you've been noticing that I'm really sorry it's just hard to actually concentrate and talk whilst you're constantly sniffing and itching so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye